They just right, right, mm -hmm. yeah. They sell air tails. What do you got? Overflow of spring or something? Like that. Yeah, that would be hard. Waterfall. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, it's natural spring. Come up, feed that tank for our. That's our our power washer in there. Yeah, oh, wash bay. Yeah. Where'd you got all kinds of this stuff? That went in right there, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. cool. Now, does these go, does these snap on the fifth wheel? Does Not a bunk the, snap on the fifth wheel? Is yes. that how they're made? Yeah. Yeah, okay. see how that just pins in? Huh? Yeah. You just pop that out. Oh, okay. The fifth wheel and put your bunks back on. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. Oh, man, it's an ass buster. That's a neat set. Look at that suspension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Rubber block. That's yeah. We still do. They still low boy with this one once in a while, mostly with that one. But boy, that's a mass buster suspension there. Here's it. I like these little PD car bumpers like this. But I'm gonna have to start making our own bumpers yeah. on the other trucks because we 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 we. It don't matter what we do. We'll get them right. <laughs> No. Yeah, they have them in there. Yeah, that truck. I'm gonna eventually get these trucks where I can push trailers with, so they can push right. each other. Right, push each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome. Well, we didn't grab our key, but this is our oil room. We got all our hydraulic motor oil, grease, tacky lube. Ain't that something? Bar Look at oil, that thing. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, come on back here. They, we have went over butt wrecking. Look at that. That's a dandy, man. It's a shame to see this thing going to hell. Ain't, ain't that a cute no, one? We still use that for fire season. That's you take it up there? Yeah. That's, That's cool. cool. Cab on this thing, buddy. Look at that. 64? Oh, 63? it's got to be somewhere. That. Yeah, it's got to be 63. Look at the cab on. That is nice. I'll get my piss dung out of me. I'm sure there's a wasper in here somewhere. Oh, Look. Cold for them yeah. now. That's cool, ain't it, Tanner? Look that is the, awesome. Look at the condition of that. That looks like my green weenie truck I got. Same part. Yeah, here's some of our tongs. These are too big for the actual tongs. We put a choker in it. Yeah. Nice. Well, you just hang it off the choker and then you just swing it over to the log, set it in kind of shake it as you shake it they'll tighten up and then you pick them up if you think they're sucked in good enough you can send them just off of that if not then you just throw your choker under it set it back down and then choke it up yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the old butt rig and pile. hey there's a set of ring chains look at that Tanner. yeah yeah here's the old butt rigging okay of, that way we're the way we're sucking the carriage back and forth you put this in between, dangle it down your choker, you'd have chokers hanging off of right here. Yeah, that's a screwy bell there, right? No, that's a, uh, god damn it, what's it called where the choker goes in, Brian? <laughs> so I can't think of the, the name, god, you got me. Bail? No, uh -huh. Choker drop is what we call it. Screwy bell is what goes on the guy line, right? There's one right there by your foot. Nope. Ain't that a screwy bell? Nope, that's just another choker drop. Screwy bell, I know a we got a pile bell. of them right here. Now right what here. does this butt rigging do? Now what, explain this to me, I can't understand this. So we've got the carriage on the skyline, so we got left. Back in the old days, you would, they'd run the hull back out to the skyline, you'd put this because it swivels in between the hull back and the skyline. Right. That's why it's called it's called high lead because it's on the on the ground most of the time. If you hold your skyline tight, you can pick it up. Where like you know where apical, but it just drags the ground basically, and it's got three or four chokers, forty foot chokers hanging off it. Mm -hmm. you, so this is when you just used to drag it through the dirt. Uh, yeah, when big old. When you're talking about pulling the stumps up out of the ground yeah, and shit. The, yeah, these are inch, oh. inch choker drops. So wow. you put an inch choker, forty foot inch choker, you pull it back pull out 40 feet to a log choke it brute so, force so yeah you can only go like 60 feet wide 
to get your logs, and then you have to change roads over and over and over. And if yeah. you're the green guy, you always got the back Back too. choker, because the back choker cleans up the front. <laughs> they're, they're always wrapped up, so you pull the back one back first. Next one, most of the time you ran three chokers, so third yeah. choker, second choker, first choker. Mm -hmm. But you put your biggest log in the, the front one front choker. So you're dealing with one inch chokers. Not anymore, but we did, but yeah. Did. So yeah. something like that thing laying there. There's your screwy bells. Yeah, here's the screwy bells for the guy lines. Mm -hmm. What do you call them? Screwy bells. Because they can Turn. take their guy line and they wrap it around their stump. We go through. And then they can get that threaded through and snap it together. Yeah, yeah. Need a bell it's on just a choker bell that comes off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and the reason it's called screwy is because the way that right. curves. Yeah. So yeah. you you take your guy line and you go through, yeah. go around your tree, so your guy line's gonna ride through there, and then your bell comes up, your nub right, comes up right, and right, 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 yeah. sets like that. Are you guys still using this? Thing? Yeah, that's yeah, in the yard, or they yeah, showed it to me. Yeah, we yeah. still use the screw. Ain't belt. that something? Yeah. And that, when we log with the link belts, that's what we used on the on the main light of skyline. We always had screwy belts that we want. And this yeah. is this is a gas donkey. Yep, yep, just a some gadget. kind of a tree puller or skadget. Yeah, that's all I need. There you go. I found my yard. Big block. That's got a flathead V8 hey. engine in it. Yeah, it that. needs a head. Forward, so yeah. I'd, I'd pay. I wouldn't offer him so much. He needs a head on. How much is your dollar two ninety eight? That's yeah, probably that's, a, that's cool. That's looking. the brick for, or not the brick, but for the Christie. Yeah, yeah. We've actually got a whole Christie and an MM, MSP carriage over here. I'll show you guys. I like well, to have that restored, painted up, sit in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Send right. some haywire out and she can put a beer on you and drag it back yes, to you. Sir. Yes, sir. Bye, Georgie. That's exactly what we put that. We put that something up for good use. Hey, it's cool. Well, that's got to be a little, huh? Look at that. Imagine There's the stuff you can find in a wood drain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, oh, yeah. Like back at home, it'd be. And it's cool. a lot harder to get stuff out. I bet there's more stuff laying in these woods. Oh, my. That'd be awesome. North Bend, the wild bike North Bend never had that block in front yeah. of it so you could pull the skid line off the side. Our friend that's in New Zealand was doing that. He's got a video on North Bend. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, cool. yeah it is cool. This is the shit you throwed, wasn't it? Yeah, them were the, the grapples for the. Line loaders. They put that on one of them, uh, like that '98 that cut the, my dad's the, hand. The, off. Yeah, the, the, the snorkel, the snorkel boom. boom. Yeah, yeah the snorkel. Yeah. And then they log it with that. And they also loaded that, trucks with it. That little shotgun carriage that Acme had. They yeah, wanted, yeah, yeah. What they say they wanted five thousand for it. Yeah. Ooh. There you go, right there. Yeah. Right, that little piece. Of, that's just a piece of an old uh, railroad iron. They yeah. just welded some eyes on it and put the two blocks. Yeah. Right here. And then it's got your choker hangs. That thing probably weighs two thousand pounds. And they wanted five. They wanted wasn't it five thousand? Sixty-five hundred. Six, yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, that's a whoa. Thing. That's one, except it's huge. Look at that. Yeah, that's the old shotgun drift carriage, shotgun carriage, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Look how huge it is. And that's pretty yeah, much. This one. This one's big. This is yeah. what. This one was designed for that big butt rigging. Yeah. That's what that right. was designed it, for. It, no, it had rollers on it. It does. Yeah. And it, what what this is the sky car replaced this, mm -hmm. so the skyline stood up, and went through went through that, and then out to your tail hole, you picked it up, and your chokers hang off of here. Right, right, right. Your skin line goes on the front, and then it comes back where you get it where you want it. You slack the skyline down. Yeah, the whole Second, it's lift. Yeah. That's where the lift mm -hmm. comes in. So but I thought you was talking about some of them. They didn't have no skyline. You just had a cable on each end, yeah. and you pulled it tight pulled to raise tight. it up. Right, when you didn't have left, except for like a little crick or something, that's where the butt rigging got used. So now, why use butt rigging instead of cable? For where? Yeah, so the line will swivel, mm -hmm. you know, and then where you're hanging your chokers off, the, it'll swivel so that the line isn't getting... Oh, because they'll swivel around and around over themselves. Around. Oh! Yeah, that, that them things they can spin around and around and around. So if the logs flop over top of each other, they ain't tying knots. Oh, I see. You remember how high them stumps were? Even when yeah. we were kids in the '80s. God, yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. What is the reason for cutting stumps that high? Stump shed. They always told you you got to get rid of the bales on the bottom of them. That's yeah. yeah that, the that's swell. why they cut it up to get rid of the, yeah. the swell pretty pro prominent here in cedar and spruce. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, 
We got to cut them low. What did you hear Alex say? Alex said earlier the second logs where the money's at here. See, it back home, the old saying is uh, an inch and a foot worth the foot to top. Right. Right. <laughs> well, it's too many you're dealing with. Yeah. Like that, so you get in white oak, it's worse than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Come out and dig your stuff up. Hey, you missed her by a half an inch. <laughs> Well, that's a big old wagon. Who made that one? Uh, they bought it. It's a peerless, ain't it? It starts with the P. I think it's a peerless. Yeah. Well, they got two sets of airlines. Oh, that's a hydraulic line. Yeah, hydraulic for the. They just painted them for the. Yeah. Oh, they end up bidding. Well, now why they do two females on the truck instead of flopping them? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's interesting. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, this is. I think that was actually our a trail king. That's our bigger. Uh, low boy. This, this this is made for a lot of concentrated weight in a small yes, spot. Eh? Yes. Well, and then you start adding the Jeeps and Pups, and you can haul more weight. Would you say Jeeps? Yeah, I think this is called the Jeep, okay. and that's called the Pup. Because you can, okay. when you get off the highway, you get up on the logging road, then you drop your Jeep and back under the low boy, short enough to get around the, the steep corners. Yeah, that's why you want them absolutely as short as possible, ain't it? Yeah. Amazing. What's the air valves for? That's the, see this thing in the center? Uh-huh. The hydraulic. Oh, it's hydraulic valves. Right, sets that down. Okay. You unhook that, pull away, and then you can lower this down to the ground. Or so it's a it. ground bearing job. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you can't raise that up over railroad tracks. Right. Or you'd have to stop before you got there. Well, it's going it. to be like that right now. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty high, right? Which is pretty high, right, to mm -hmm. go up over. Yeah. And a short wheelbase. For, oh, and that's a pup. That's what you're calling a pup. Yeah. The more tires on the ground here, the heavier the weight you can haul. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll put, you know, some of the pups have well, I'll see like is a dual or a triple action. And you don't get this thing in a situation where you have to push it. I guess you just pull. But see, that would suck yeah. pulling up a steep mountainside because well, you're when, fighting when, the steer tires all the right, time. Right, when you get to that point, then you, you drop this. Oh, okay, and then you can get against or, that. Or or you pick it up and swing it off to the side and tie it off and then pull and push in the middle there. But yeah, this thing, this whole thing can drop off. Look at that, Alex. Look how long that's been. Oh, no, we just yeah. That baby's been around a while. 1972. 329 of 72. Been built up there a few times. Yeah. That tongue's been ripped off. Yes, it has. Yeah, they, they, they've done a little Ain't that something? That the Trail King's a ground bearing, too. Yeah. That may not be a. I thought we had a trail. It might. Trail King may, may be on top. Huh. Yeah, this is just a little one for a little S3. Yeah, it's a heist. That's yeah, nice. hell, that black one that I rebuilt. Yeah, you no, know, that one I, I remade. That was a hoster. It's just a fixed neck, but it's a hoster. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this all the lower stuff. See, there's another pop that we put yeah. on the back of that other low boy and put more weight on. Look at that old truck. Yeah. Does that run? Yep, we used it on the last job. No kidding. We, and like I say, they've got stuff out at, at, at his house. Well, yeah, they cut the hole in the hood and stuck that radiator up through it. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't find a radiator yeah. Either, so. that or it's running to it's overheating, wasn't it? And they just needed more, or what? I couldn't honestly say what what, what went on with it. They did this before I come back to work for them, so. <laughs> couldn't honestly say what why it just assuming they probably poked a hole in the old one and couldn't find it or couldn't find it as a replacement or half the thing. This is the diesel tanks? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So if we come to the shop, we get our fuel here. It's cheaper. But, you know, it's hell, it's 45 minutes out here for me, so I only try to come to the shop once a week. Gotcha. Now the next job we're doing is on up the highway here, so got to drive past anyway. Every yeah. day, so I'll just get you over here. So that's your that's set up for like a shovel truck. Yeah. Right. It's actually the processor operates. It's got all the hoses and stuff for them. Uh-huh. But our processor guy right now can't drive. So I'll drive that one. So I have all of his hoses and mine. Gotcha. With us. So no hose crimper. You still packing hoses with you? Yeah. That's why I say if we had a hose crimper, got it. Yeah. Then you're not packing all that extra weight all the time. Mm-hmm. You know. As you're carrying. Well, and your hoses go bad on you. Right. And you're carrying all the oil and stuff, so that's extra weight. You know, your bar mm-hmm. oil and stuff. You could all leave it in a trailer right on the job. We have a wash room. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, there's your tiller, Paul. Look at that. Boys, it's time to get the tater patch ready. Yes, it is. Now, that's my speed right here. <laughs> Boys, I'll get that fired up and get up on that mountain. I'll show y'all. <laughs> they get to picking on me, I'll tear the fucking road up. No, I'll be stuck. Nobody you know it? Huh? That's the 330 <laughs> that that swing yard flopped over on top of. Huh. It obviously oh, been fixed now, but yeah, the, the haywire shiv went right through the, the motor canopy there. Went, and it, lucky enough, it just caught the front end of it, just tore the, the uh, radiator and the hydraulic cooler and, and, and all that off. So it and missed the big stuff. Yeah, it Good deal. Deep. But it did bend the, the counterbalance. That's a new counterbalance. And it oh. landed on here. And then the haywire shift, like I say, went through there, and the boom was because the haywire shift stopped it, didn't hit the actual uh, boom. The excavator, but it bent this this big. That's solid steel. That is solid steel. I always thought it was a full of some of them. Yeah, junk, some of them are full but of that shavings, is steel. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Bedells, they left them hollow and filled them with, with junk shavings. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yes, sir. I was just talking to Brian. Did you guys in your Soren Erickson training, did you ever get into the segmenting with the plump bob? Where you're, where you're finding out how to segment from the trees. Yeah, you we get, do. Get we the do. lean past center. Right, yeah. You ever we do, do that? that yeah. Ooh, yeah. So, so many segments that you can buy. Yeah. It tells you how much lift you need to get yeah, the tree yeah, back over. Uh, something like, oh, I can't remember, I've slept since then, but yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, and I probably wasn't paying that close to this. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I don't remember it all. My either. brain was probably drifting. You have the AD triple Yeah, AD. that's a, yeah. Draw bar. Huh. And then when the skyline, when it goes up. They, they got to entertain me and keep me focused. Right? <laughs> <laughs> ADD, ADD. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're losing him. You're losing him. <laughs> all right, go back out to the playground. <laughs> Some guys won't put this in, they'll just put like a rubber mat or yeah. put a log in there. And then if you get a big slap, it falls out and ends up cutting your skyline. So every one of our cats has a huh. skyline shackle in it. So we can use them to hang on. Oh, that's a good point. I never thought about it. Yeah. And then, set something. Yeah, it goes over and we have a we have a special strap. It's 27 feet long, goes from the draw bar and eyes out here. And then like I was just telling Jesse, you, you still set your brakes, but when you're pulling on it, the theory is that the skyline comes down, pulls down pulls on the down blade, on the, yeah. so it's not working on the right. the brakes and the tracks as much. It's working on what's supposed to be. So you're to hooked be. at, yeah. you go clear under the machine, hook it to the drawbar. Clear under to the drawbar. Draw 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 because I, I don't think you could ever weld this up enough strong enough to handle it. To hold it and right. bust it out. Right. Just, yeah. yeah, yank it right out. Oh, I see. Warehouser, we had a bunch. That's it. Just set yeah. up just like that tiny bit, but 25 years ago. Yeah, over here is that crispy here. Yeah, 
up there. There's the even smaller one. Oh, Lord, that's what we and need, it's Jeff. still, yeah, that would work great on your Yoder. Huh. Check that There's out. no weight to it at all. You're not losing log length with that. Let me see. That's a little carriage. Oh, wow. Because so your skid line goes through here and up into there, and your skyline goes through that one. So it comes back, and you've got a, it's like a line clamp. And you yeah. clamp it on the line, so when it hits it, it kicks your this open your drop line falls out you got to hand pull it wow. set your chokers and then when it comes back up it's called a prick right in the vagina that's how i learned about birds and the bees right yeah the that. prick in the vagina and, and brings it in oh, and that's, yeah. that's the same as what this is it's just a little bit bigger yeah, yeah. they're damn near indestructible oh too. yeah yeah you can beat, <coughs> the, crap you can beat out of the crap out of these but the only the, the only fallback is if you're pulling very wide you're pulling the line all the way right off the drum. Off the drum. Yeah, but for what I'm doing, like right. yard up to the, you know, flat yeah. straight yard up to that. That's you. Yeah. We'd have straight road, you know. Yeah. Very straight. <laughs> well, and that, yeah, that thing, if you're going to bring it up under the lines, just the drift carriage would work fine with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Two 40 foot chokers around two bundles, yeah. you know, at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That That'd yoder just awesome. zoom, 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 zoom. Then tell your awesome. boss when I come back down, he should make us a package deal on the Cromie, the Christie carriage, and whatever else I find. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there is some of this stuff up for sale, too. Oh, as just was saying, the dog and that one old. Kind of yeah. Oh, I see a saw desk. Who lives there? That hey guys, if you like the video, leave me likes and comments. You ain't subscribed, subscribe. If you want any loggerway merchandise, head to the loggerway.com website and you can, uh, there's a shopping cart, PayPal, yada yada, credit card stuff, and what you call and what you digit. But thanks guys, over now.